In an ideal situation with your detailing business, you'd want the customer to contact you and to, and to agree to all your services, to agree to your pricing, to refer your friends and family members, and to contact you every other week so you can maintain their vehicle. That's probably the most ideal situation. Now, since this is reality and this is an actual business that, that you're running, I'd say 80, 90% of the time, the customer is never going to do any of that. It's always gonna be dependent on you following up and reaching out to the customer to schedule them, to reschedule them, to ask them for referrals, for reviews, to see if they're interested in maintenance services You know, every other week or every month whatever the case may be, but it's always going to be on your end to get repeat customers or to get anything from the customer. So if you're done, if you just completed the customer's vehicle and you say, hey, look, can you leave me a review? And you just leave it at that, your, the chances of you getting a review are very slim. The, other, the customer has a dozen other tasks on their plate and, you're, and you just gave them another task to add to their life. So the priority of them fulfilling what you asked for is at the bottom of the totem pole. So if you're not following up and saying, hey, if you, don't, if you don't tell them in person, and then if you don't send an email, and then if you don't send a text, if you don't have different forms and different touch points with the customer, then the success rate of whatever it is you wanna do with them is gonna be very low. It's not just about saying, hey, can you refer me some friends or family members, and then you know you just, you just wish and hope that something good comes out of that. No, it's you, you have to actively set some type of system in place. You have to be able to measure how you're doing. You have to see how, what type of customers are coming to you or, or, or what results you're getting from the process that you're doing in order to see what's going on with everything. And this is applicable to, again, getting customers, getting repeat customers, getting different types of services, getting reviews, getting, there, you can apply this framework to anything. You have to follow up. It is gonna always be on your end on how successful it is that you're doing. Whether, again, whether that's getting more views, whether it's getting more customers, whether that's getting more repeat customers, whatever is going to fall on you. So don't get mad, don't question what's going on with your business because you're not seeing X amount of results because you're just hoping and wishing for the customer to do their end when it really relies 80% on you and 20% on the customer. So if it is about leaving that review, then you have to follow up with that, if, you know, from the initial ask, then you have to send them a link for the review. And if they don't leave a review then, then follow up in two days and ask for a review. Send them the link directly to leave you, leave you a review. You have to make their life as easy as possible, as convenient as possible, and communicate everything that's going on instead of saying, hey, can you leave me a review on Google? Just search for me and then you know, hopefully it happens in the next week or so. That's gonna set you up for failure. So get into the mindset, make it a habit where you have to proactively seek out the customer and continually follow up with them. So it, whether it's gonna be just a, when you, when you see them, when, you're, you know, when you complete the detail, whether it's via email, via text, some type of social media, whether it's like Instagram, Facebook, um, whether it be whatever form, whether it be actually writing a, a, a post out to them, it's, not, it's never just a one-off action and then, okay, let's see what happens. It's, okay, let me tell them in person, they didn't do it. Let me send them, let me send them a text, Okay, they haven't done it. Let me send them an email. Okay, let me call them up and ask them about XYZ event. Let me, let me ask them about this. It's always going to be on your end. You have to do most of the work for the end result that you want. And that's a big piece of advice to run any type of successful business. You have to put up the work most of the time. The customer is only doing that last step that you want them to do. You've gotta take them all the way through and put in all the way work until the very end. So before you start to complain and whine about why this isn't happening or why aren't customers doing this, ask yourself, what are you doing to get the desired results that you're looking for? What, how much of work are you doing up front to get the customer to do that last bit of work for you? Whether it's sending that referral, leaving that review, coming back for more services, whatever the case may be, what are you doing up front? What work are you putting in? Whether it's following up in two days, in one week, in two weeks, what are you doing to get the desired results that you're looking for. Don't just complain and whine and, 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 and think that every, you know, life and the business is against you. That's not how it is. It's you, your business, your actions, the systems you have in place to make it work. So leave any comments or questions you have down below. Like this video, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.